There are two things in this world that I hate. Minecraft intros and bullying. And today, both of those things have happened. You go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> So as of late, I've been browsing YouTube and the recommended section being as reliable, helpful and amazing as it is, has always been recommending me the best of YouTube's content. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and please, please share this with PewDiePie because he doesn't know who I am. But what it's also been recommending to me non-stop is talk shows because don't we all just love mainstream TV seeping into YouTube? I, I don't get scared often. Um, but when I was wrestling the bear, I was like, wow, dude, like, I could die right now. And out of all this mainstream TV that seems to be attacking YouTube at the moment, we have Ellen DeGeneres. Mr. Grumpy Gills. Is it DeGeneres or De DeGen? Yeah! And it's not the talk show itself that intrigues me. I, I don't care. It's mainly the fact that this video will not get out of my recommended. I have tried Roblox Let's Plays, Minecraft Let's Plays, Club Penguin Let's Plays. I even tried watching a Jake Paul video unironically. Nothing works. It won't leave me alone. Now I did some research trying to find why this video is being thrown into everyone's recommended because the video itself is over six months old. Now the only thing that I could find of relevancy is that it was talked about by Ethan on the H3 Podcast Highlights channel. No, that's <laughs> weird, man. <laughs> The weirdest part is like this oh. shadowy icon. The he hood! Made. He looks like player unknown. Like, how do I get a better look at that? Or like a and ring they wraith. Don't really let you. Yeah, he's a ring wraith. And I don't know what this is. He like blocked out the eyes. In it. He was just moving behind it. No, it's not a screen. No! No! Other videos of people talking about it have also gone into my recommended. So it's a inescapable cycle. Ellen DeGeneres caught one of her audience members on hidden camera taking more than her fair share of gifts from the Ellen gift shop. Welcome back to What's Trending, to What's Trending. No! Now for the three people that actually care about the video itself, I'm gonna talk about it. This is basically my personal exorcism on the video, hoping that if I talk about it, it gets out my recommended forever. Essentially, Ellen has set up in her building a free little merch shop where you can take one piece of merch for absolutely free. Now remember, that is just one piece of merch, so apparently you take the one and then you piss off. You want two free things? I bet you want running water in your house as well. And then they proceed to show a montage of women collecting their one piece of free merch and just losing their shit. They're totally overreacting. I am rich female. Laugh at me. <laughs> But what you also need to keep in mind, this is a talk show, the audience are from a talk show, so they get ecstatic when they see a, a, a fucking Minecraft gift card. I know this is only gonna end poorly, but this woman's face is just too ecstatic, it deliberately annoys me. So what I went ahead and did is overlaid her ecstatic joy with a bunch of totally irrelevant clips. I just wanted to see how honest my audience was. NANI?! <laughs> I hope it takes off as a meme. It probably won't. To be honest, I imagine Ellen will just send me a cease and desist later. I'll just buy this. Yeah, that's not right. How much is it? 25. So she is but she said, I'll just buy this. And you want it, so I have the hat for you. Bring. <laughs> oh my God. So that's for you for being honest. You don't have to buy it now. Look at that. Oh All right. My God. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. What a story, Mark. It's a hat. It's a literal hat. Calm down. That's 
Like, like goddamn. I... <laughs> you know those Minecon cringe compilations? If a kid wins, like, a, a quiz, what colour's a creeper? And, and then they get, like, a diamond pickaxe. Their enjoyment would probably be one-tenth of what that woman's was. If I was playing virtual reality, this is the first thing I would do. Blow up the whole entire world. Welcome to my mine. We are mining diamonds. We own not a strip mine. That's so amazing. I mean, any of you could have taken more than one thing and you didn't. Except for these ladies right here. <laughs> what annoys me about this segment is how Ellen prefaces it by saying, these women nabbed, but then she begins to single out this one woman in the yellow shirt. And she returns one of her stolen items and she switches it out for a hat. <laughs> All right. Hi. You can't then go ahead and single out specific people. They've all done the exact same thing, right or wrong. No one gets a, a special spot. My voice broke. Oh. That, that's how you can tell how invested I am. We did it, guys. We reached a quarter of a million subscribers. So, guys. So, as you can already tell, this woman is completely mortified, and rightfully so. I mean, if you did something like that, and you got caught on TV, and then the host called you out, You'd be quite embarrassed. Not quite as embarrassed as making MLG, unironically, but it's definitely somewhere on that scale. Now, I did some research trying to find if this girl they singled out was an actress, you know, someone to make an example of. But there are two theories. Firstly, that she could genuinely still be an actress. Or secondly, it's legit and she's very dumb. Now, she's not dumb for the reason you think. I actually don't have a problem with the taking free merch. The problem is... How did you not clock that that was a two-way mirror? It looks about as straight as tinfoil. I don't know, maybe I'm stretching it a bit too far. I, I think I need a second opinion. What, what about you, Nano Suit from Crisis 2? What, what do you think? It's not a word. That's not... That's not words. Hi! What's your My name? sister couldn't come, so that was her souvenir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of people's sisters couldn't come. <laughs> but Ellen, my sister died. I was taking that to her grave. <laughs> oh, you silly Latinos. You are funny ones. So what is your name? Nancy. Nancy. Oh, Nancy. <laughs> I love how she flat out asked for her name as well. Your name's Nancy? Uh, right, country of origin. Uh, did, did, did you move here legally? Now, Nancy, I'm willing to accept an apology. All I want is your social security number. So, uh, look, I, I like that you like the product so much that you wanted to bring one back. No, stop it! Uh, but, um, if you do this now, it's going to drain away all the time you have left on Earth! And I say you need every second of it as it is! So, you don't just take the- you take the bowl, you just walk away. <laughs> Oh, no. no. Listen, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's embarrassing and everything, but, you know, let that be a lesson to you, because you think... It is. You, you think nobody's watching you, and you just need to be a good person. Now, Ellen has just said the woman has made a mistake. You have her name. You said that she must feel embarrassed. She's clearly learned her lesson by the amount of times she has slapped her chubby little wrist. Surely, Ellen, the voice of Dory, the most intelligent character in the Finding Nemo franchise, will not find a way to make this even more unbearable. You, you think nobody's watching you and you just need to be a good person just because you want to be a good person. You go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> No, you're, no, you'll steal stuff back there. Come here, this way. This video physically hurt me to watch. I'm sure I've developed various cringe-related diseases because of it. At the end of the day, she took more free stuff than she was supposed to. 
I really don't see the big crime with that. You don't need the Salem witch trials because she took an extra cookie. The worst thing is the video just ends when she sits on the chair. There's no big conclusion. There's no part where Ellen comes down and says, it's all right, sweetie. I just wanted to make a point. You know, come here. I love you. A little hug. She just sat there on the chair and the video ends. To this day, she's probably still at that chair just waiting for judgment from God. To be honest, you could probably superimpose her in various positions and courts awaiting judgment. But boys and girls, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this bullying. No one gets to bully people except me. So what I have done, I am waging a war on Ellen DeGeneres. For every like this video gets, I will send Ellen a passive aggressive email explaining how much I dislike her show. I mean, I, I was gonna write a mean comment on the video but she's already disabled the fucking comment so what's the point really so little miss ellen you better watch the freak out because daddy's coming i'm so scared help me save me from them please harry you go sit in that ellen jail over there right now <laughs> All of you saying my content hasn't changed, I've gone from bullying kids to full-blown adults. So don't you tell me I haven't changed. I do appreciate you watching though. If we could reach 70 billion thousand fuck off likes, I'd appreciate that. Very achievable goal. Also subscribe to the channel for daily bullying. I got a lot of stuff planned. This was just a filler video. I wanted to get it out of the way while I'm working on other stuff. I got a game review and then a new Petscot video got bought out. I want to do an analysis on that as well. Uh, maybe even some VR chat. That seems to be a thing at the moment. Got a lot of stuff planned. I appreciate the support. And remember, heck off.